Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to torque down the wheel lug nuts on my 2006 Toyota Corolla. Um, this is going to be a really similar process for all the Toyota Corolla years around my 2006. But one thing you're going to want to do is refer to your specific owner's manual. It's going to give you all the important information on how to do this right and also all the safety information. Uh, make sure to read through your owner's manual in its entirety before you do any maintenance to your car. Um, the one thing that we can see that it tells us here is that for my 2006 Corolla, it needs 76 foot-pounds of torque. It also tells us the fashion in which we need to tighten the lug nuts. There's a star fashion that you go through there, one, two, three, four, then five. And you do it that way so the lug nuts are tightened on evenly and you properly seat your wheel against the rotor of the car. Okay, let's set this down here and I'm gonna show you the tools that you're gonna need to complete this. You're gonna need a torque wrench. I got this one off Amazon. It was just a little under $30 after tax and there's a lot of options out there to choose from. Take a look, find the one that works best for you. Um, if you're interested in looking more at this one, um, it's made by EP Auto and I did do a review on this as well. You're also going to need an extender. This is a half inch extender and this will extend the torque wrench away from the wheel just to give us a little bit of clearance while we're working. Uh, for the 2006 Corolla, the original stock lug nut size is 21 millimeter. So I have a 21 millimeter socket here that I'm going to need. Um, you might need a different socket depending on the lug nuts on your car or if you have locking lug nuts. Make sure that you know what you need ahead of time. Always make sure that you're wearing nitrile gloves while you're working on cars. Here are mine right here. And then a pair of safety glasses as well. Make sure that you have a pair of these. It's always really important to protect your eyes while you're working on vehicles. Okay, guys, let's take a quick look at the torque wrench here. So this specific torque wrench, we know that we need to set, after just reading the owner's manual there, we need to set to 76 foot-pounds. Um, this side here is the Newton meter ratings, and then on the other side we have our foot-pound rating. Um, this one currently is set to 70 foot-pounds. Um, there's a little nut on the bottom, and if you loosen it up, it allows you to twist the handle so you can get it to the proper foot-pounds you're looking for. And if you look right under the 70 there, it's kind of like a, a zigzag, and you can see the line that we need to hit to get to 70. Um, so we're going to spin this until it's even with that line in the middle, the zero. So right now we're at 70 foot pounds. We need to go more than that. We need to get to 76. So we're gonna twist this until the six is lined up with that center line like so. Now we're at 76 foot pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and take this nut and we're gonna twist it back in and that locks the uh, torque wrench in place. And now we're at 76 foot-pounds and we're ready to go ahead and uh, check the foot-pounds on the lug nuts. Let's head out to the vehicle. All right, guys. So in this case, the tire and wheel are already on the car. Um, these are already tightened down. We're just going to use the torque wrench to check and ensure that these are 76 foot-pounds. Uh, by using the star pattern. Um, but if you needed to put the tire on the way you would do it, the wheel and the tire on, you'd put the wheel on, um, and in the star fashion, you would hand tighten the lug nuts. Um, you want to make sure to do it evenly. Um, don't just like crank one down as hard as you can. Um, do them evenly in the star fashion until you get them all hand tight. Uh, you need to ensure that the wheel is seated properly and evenly against the rotor. Um, the next thing you would do is use your socket, your 21 millimeter socket, and in the star fashion, you would put this on and use your hand to get it as tight as you could uh, in the star fashion. Finally, once you have it as tight as you can by hand uh, with your 21 millimeter socket, you're going to make sure that your wheel and tire are on the ground before you begin to torque uh, use the torque wrench uh, like we currently have my vehicle now. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start with the top uh, wheel lug nut there, just like in the diagram we saw in the owner's manual. And when you're using a torque wrench, you just want to go slowly until you hear the click, and then as soon as you do, you want to stop putting pressure. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
There we go, we heard our click. We know that we hit 76 foot pounds. Now we would finish this out on the rest of the wheel lug nuts um, in the star pattern until we're done and make sure that they're all at 76 foot pounds. With that being said, I'll go ahead and finish these up, but let's head back into the garage. All right, guys, well, that was it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something. Uh, please let me know how you liked it and like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.